Hey Legal Eagles! One of the questions I get most from college students is what is the best undergrad degree or major to prepare you for law school? Well, today I'm going to talk about the various pros and cons of different degrees, and by the end of this video you will know what is the right major for you. So stick around. The thing about law school is that it takes a lot of different skills working in conjunction with each other. First and foremost, you have to be a great writer. Second, you have to be good at researching. You have to be good at logical thinking. You have to be able to make good policy arguments stemming from philosophy and government. You have to be good at historical precedent. You have to be a good orator. Uh, all of these things need to work in conjunction if you're going to get the most out of law school. And you have to use all of these skills together in order to be a successful law student, to get good grades. Um, as a result, there is no one major that prepares you for law school. Law school is unlike anything else. In undergrad, in high school, there is just simply nothing like it. And there is no one major that really prepares you for what law school is like. Final exams in law school are based on what's called an issue spotter hypothetical, where you're required to think like a lawyer. No undergrad major prepares you for thinking like a lawyer. In fact, law school doesn't even prepare you for thinking like a lawyer either. That's why we created uh, a master class to actually teach students how to think like a lawyer. Uh, and classes in law school are taught using the Socratic method, which is also completely different from almost any seminar or lecture that you've had in college or in high school. Professors pepper their students with questions to uh, reveal the right answer, uh, much in the same way that it's uh, said that Socrates peppered his disciples, uh, Plato and Aristotle, with questions to let them find the right answer. But this methodology is totally unlike anything that you'll see in college, especially where you have uh, large classes of hundreds of people or more, where there just simply isn't the ability to go back and forth uh, between any particular student. Um, and the subject matter in law school is also totally different from any undergrad subject. No one will teach you the law that you need before you get to law school. Sure, you might take a business law class or an accounting law class, but that is such a small, tiny percentage of what you're going to cover in law school that there's no way for any particular major to really lay the, the foundation of what you will need to know in law school. So the question is this, if no major really prepares you for law school and no major can prepare you for law school, what major should you sign up for in college to best prepare you for law school? Well, the answer that I always give is this, you should sign up for the major that you are most interested in. Get a degree in a subject that you find fascinating. Law schools don't care about your major. Uh, when you apply to law school, no law school is going to look at which particular major you had. But they do care about what grades you got in college or undergrad. Um, so if you major in something that you're really interested in, you are much more likely to put more effort into it and to do well in college. And that will translate into better grades. Not to mention, you will have spent four to five years studying something that you really enjoy. Because you're never going to get that time back. Uh, odds are you're probably going to enjoy law school less than your time in college. So you might as well enjoy the most out of your college experience. So sign up for a major, get a degree in something that you find fascinating and you're willing to study for four years. Then when you show up for your first day of law school, you'll be in basically the same boat as everybody else. You'll be starting from zero because no one's major or degree actually prepared them for law school. So it's okay that you're starting from the same point as everybody else. So what is the best major for you? Well, that depends. It depends on your personal preferences. What do you enjoy studying? What are you fascinated by? What can you see yourself studying for four to five years? Uh, and what can you reasonably do to get good grades in that particular major? So unfortunately, I can't give you one particular answer that works for everybody. There is no one major that works for all law schools and even pre-law majors don't really prepare you for law school. Uh, 
for those of you who are unsatisfied with an it depends answer, well, I'm sorry to say that you're gonna have to get used to it because if you're going to become a lawyer, you're going to hear it depends a lot. If you ask a lawyer anything nine times out of 10, you'll get the answer that it depends. So let me know, what major did you sign up for? What are you going to study in college and what have you been studying? Do you feel like uh, it was a good use of your time for four years? Uh, if you want even more strategies and tactics before you get to law school, download our free ultimate pre-law checklist. It's our free gift to you. The link to that is down below and it will give you a head start before you get to law school. Um, also, please click on the like and subscribe buttons. The more people that subscribe to this channel, the more videos we'll make on how to crush law school. And until next time at Legal Eagle, think like a lawyer and ace the exam. So the thing about law school is that it takes a whole, uh, there, um, uh, in a Socratic method, um, uh, Aristotle and Plato, um, well, the answer that I always give people, let me try that again. Um,